Hi everyone, this is Jérôme Piper, and in today's video I wanted to talk about my top 5 fountain pen inks of the first half of 2024. So at the end of last year I made a video about, I think it was my top 7 inks of 2023, and the rule sort of uh, the rule that I made for myself was that it had to be inks that I discovered that year. And I think I'm going to continue that for the for this video for the first half of uh, 2024. So I can only pick inks from inks that I have started writing with this year that I have uh, not uh, used before in fountain pens, uh, or at least like not before this year. But they also have to be inks that I have inked up in a fountain pen so that I have actual writing experience with them because I have doing a ink swatching series, um, which like if you've not been following it, it's like lots and lots of inks. So I've swatched all of these inks this year, but a lot of them I have not inked up in a pen and written with. Um, so I feel like I can't really pick those as favorites. So I've picked five. And I'm going to swatch them uh, on this these two pages. And I've put them in order. So we're going to start with the number five and we're going to slowly work our way up to what I would consider my winner, my favorite ink of the past six months. Um, another thing is that I cannot... Have I already said that? I don't think I have. Uh, I cannot pick inks that I picked for my top seven inks of last year. So they all have to be inks that I have not included any top inks uh, so far. That might not something that works for like the next however couple uh, uh, top videos I'm gonna make. Uh, but for now it works. And I think it's fun to try new inks because there are some inks that will always be a favorite. So. It'll be a bit boring after a while if I keep including those. So ink number five, without further ado, is Chez Arbin Orange Indien or Indian Orange. And this ink made me realize that I do not dislike like bright orange as much as I thought I did. I inked this up um, like in spring in a... Uh, Twisby, a Twisby Eco in white, and the white and orange was just such a fun combination, and it looked so good. Just look at how bright and vibrant that orange is, without being too fluorescent, like it's still it's a color that you would see in orange flowers, I think. Wait, I've already put the lid back on the sample vial, but I still need to write the name. So we have... Cherban Orange India. Then taking the fourth spot on the ranking is Pilot Hiroshizuku Kiri Same. I got this bottle as a birthday present um, at the end of last year, and I inked it up in January and I immediately fell in love with how well this ink writes. It flows so well and it was just such a joy to write with. I inked this up in my um, Lamy Lux in Ruthenium in an extra fine nib. And it was not dry at all. It was not scratchy at all. It felt just great. And I think that is in... Uh, that is very much because of the ink. A 
Another interesting thing is that this is a bit of a warmer ink that has a sort of reddish, almost purple undertone. And while I normally would prefer my um, my gray inks a bit more cool on the cooler side, I think like, exactly because of that, this was a bit more interesting to me, a bit more out of my comfort zone, if you will. And then the third ink that has become a favorite for this year is one that I only inked up like this month for the first time. And that is Diamine Florida Blue. And Florida Blue has really like made me rediscover writing with blue inks. I always thought that I don't like blue, blue inks except for like really grayish blues. Um, but this has been such a fun, vibrant, fresh color to write with. And I was really surprised by that. Now this is blue. That was um, just a bit too little ink on my nib. So like normally it, it writes a bit punchier than this, more like the swatch itself. <laughs> my swatches are getting progressively larger. Don't mind that. Ink number two is Diamine Three Kings. This is an Inkfant ink from a couple of years ago, I think, and it is such a great yellow. It looks so good, so much that I have actually bought a full bottle of this, which are like, I don't know if you know the ink fan bottles, but they look so good. And the thing that I probably love the most about this ink is just the shading. Because this ink shades so well. And again, not enough ink on my nib, but hopefully it's still a bit legible. And then the ink that takes the number one spot for me for the first six months of 2024 has to be, it's probably not really a surprise. It's the Sailor Kingdom Note exclusive ink, um, Higurashi. I got this ink from my sister who went to Japan uh, this spring. 
and I had asked her to, um, if she had the time, go to Kingdom Node and just like see if they have this ink and bring it back for me. And she did, and I'm so, so, so happy because this is probably my favorite green now, or at least one of my favorite greens. So for me, these five inks are my top picks of the inks that I've, I've inked up between January and June of 2024. I'm excited to see which inks I'm going to be playing with for the next like six months. I'll probably do five or six inks um, each month at least. So that should, I should have plenty of inks to choose from in December. Um, for now, like the, these were like a lot of these were quite surprising to me inks that I didn't expect to like as much especially the uh, the orange one and the blue one are inks that I was curi curious enough to try them like I didn't expect to to hate them or anything but I didn't expect to keep reaching for those pens as much as I, I actually did um, and I think that is one of the wonderful things of ink samples and just trying out inks that are a little bit outside of your comfort zone. Like I knew that I was gonna like Three Kings and Higurashi because those are just colors that I generally know that I enjoy. And I was mostly enamored by how they uh, how they work in my pen and the gorgeous shading that they have. But especially for the blue and the orange, those are just colors where I was really surprised with how much I enjoyed writing with that specific color, which also has to do with the season when I ink up a pen orange I inked up in spring when I was so done with everything outside being brown, gray and looking kind of depressing. Whereas the blue I've inked up in, in June and like the weather was a bit warmer and I just wanted something that looked vibrant and like that really screamed summer. And to me, that is what Florida blue does. So yeah. I, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you've tried any of these inks. I know that some of these are uh, quite well known, but maybe not. Um, but I, I don't know actually if, if many people have tried them, if they like them. Uh, so let me know if, you, uh, if you've tried any of these inks or if you'd be curious to. And then I'll see you in six months with the rest of the, uh, the top inks of the year, I hope. For now, have a great day and take care. Bye.